Hello everyone, my name is Kid 2003 and uh, while we're not playing Genshin Impact today, it's special program time. It honestly seems like we... <laughs> it honestly seems like just last week we were uh, watching the 5.0 special program. But now we're just about to watch and discuss the 5.1 special program. Which does mean, of course, um, as of this going live, it's only about like 10, 11 days left until it is uh, update time. But that is an issue for two, like two weeks from now, so we still have the, this. Looks like the special program is only like half an hour. So, um, depending on how long it takes, we might just play some Genshin afterwards, but we'll, we'll see. I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind, so Auroron was indeed being threatened. Great goal, Malika. We're already off to a rocky start here. Of course, I'm gonna swap it off and bring it again. Let me play with memes that go! If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. His soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. I'll stall the captain while you advance. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the wolves, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Charms! Let's give him everything we've got! Matt Mom must pay the price, and only Malika's death can clear the debt. All I wanted was to see her again. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. If I could go back, wait, Mom, we just death, she had to die. Whatever it took Girl, to ensure their lost. survival. You've experienced something similar, Malika. Oh, I'll discuss that later. You should know exactly what I mean. Okay, so, that, so first up, there's the first code. So punch that in. I'll be transferring this like immediately after the stream is done, so people will still be able to um, get the codes. But apparently, like someone was talking about Moth Week as death paying off the dead. Personally, I hope they don't go with that storyline, or they don't fully follow through with it. I personally hope they don't follow th fully through with the, um, the Archon death storyline, because we already saw that in, um, in, in Fontaine. So... Then again, with how, um, with how the Pyro Archon works, she will have to choose a, uh, a successor. Otherwise, it will go exactly like Fontaine, and the Pyro Throne will be destroyed. Oh, yeah, 
Oh, no. It's a banana. Oh, Hello, baby. travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.1 special program. Oh, My name yeah, is Gabe, we're not getting and the I'm from the Genshin Impact localization team. English and I'm Kai. Strike. I'm also from the local team, right. and will be your host for today's program. We're usually okay, translating so Genshin Impact behind the scenes, so it's an honor to talk about the latest update. I'm pretty stoked about what's coming in version 5.1. Totally. I'm sure that everyone else is just as excited to find out about the new update. Then let's give them what they've been waiting for. First up, Shilonen will be our new playable character in version 5.1. Mm hmm. Whoa, Shilonen has a lot going on. Where should we start? Yeah, we should probably start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen is a famous smith from a the a Children of Echoes, one update. of Natland's six tribes. She forges all kinds of goods, like jewelry, vehicles, and weapons. You name it, and she'll make it. Cool. We've already seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's drill, Turbo Twirly. You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Wow, she's forged so many creations. <laughs> yeah, and they're all really varied. She commands so much respect in Natland, but her job is really challenging. Yeah. What's her secret? Shilonen is a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. Yep. You can't accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she believes that it's important to take breaks. So what does she do during her time off? Well, for one, she likes to sunbathe in the tree branches. That's right. We saw her doing that before. Yeah, in the ignition teaser. Yes. But that's not her only hobby. She also likes to listen to music. Oh, yeah. That's a popular pastime in her tribe, right? Absolutely. See those earpieces in her ears? Mm -hmm. They actually connect to a record player. Cool. She made them so that she could listen to music during her work breaks. And the musical beats help her keep up a steady forging rhythm. They're okay, pretty so she's handy. Like me, wow, to it seems like her skill set is really convenient. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's take a look. Great. Ooh, she's in her Night Souls Blessing attire. Cool. Yeah. Wow, she makes climbing look so easy. Yeah. She can even stop in the middle of her climb and take in the surrounding view. Nice. I bet she finds a lot of inspiration that way. For sure. When she finds something interesting, she immediately springs into action. Oh, she, turns into a, she turns into a leopard when she Speaking dashes intense, in her... Let's discuss her battle mechanics. Nice state, that's awesome. Shilonen uses special equipment in combat, too. See those three objects next to her? They look like gems, right? Well, those are samplers that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Whoa, those are super shiny. They really suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. The samplers are aligned with Geo by default, but their element will change when you add Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters to your party. For example, if Mualani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to hydro damage. Oh, okay. Well, how do you activate the samplers? It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers will be activated. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of nearby enemies. Okay, I think I understand her kit now. Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best when there are at least two different Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters in your party. Once you have an okay, optimal team, so she'll you be just need to activate teams. the Night Soul's Blessing state and max out her uh -huh. Night Soul points. Exactly. Right. These skills allow her to reduce That's multiple types kind of, of elemental resistance. Of course, Shilonen also works in teams with multiple Geo okay. characters. Uh -oh. If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, 
then her normal attacks and plunging uh, attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. Oh, really? Okay, so Shilonen also has a talent that. that should be helpful was, for exploring that I was just about that to land. say that, um, When Shilonen the is in your party, triggering a Night Soul transmission with Rainbow one of your party team. members will allow them to regain a set amount of uh, logistics. Cool. That we saw was Navia, Shilonen's back elemental Fontaine, burst so deals AoE one, Geo damage, uh, and, and if she has Shilonen, at least two samplers of an element other than really Geo, then her variety. burst will restore HP oh, to damn. active characters at set intervals. All right, that's all Zilonen we have for Shilonen's skill. Yep. Oh, a healer, I forgot to mention yes. something important. What is it? <laughs> ancient Story names. Bus. Shilonen inherited the art of ancient name so, forging. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna the Pyro that. Archon even on, appointed on her camera. to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Ancient I names record the deeds of Netland's heroes, right? It's amazing she can forge something like that. Exactly. Natland cherishes its ancient names. Few have the honor of being recognized by past heroes, and even fewer individuals have the ability to forge ancient names. Be sure to check out Tribal Chronicles Nanatskayan in version 5.1 to learn more about Shilonen and ancient name forging. And, just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra primogens and level up materials by completing Shilonen's Tribal Chronicle during version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the Traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, the Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. The Traveler is an outlander, so their adventures in Netland aren't recorded in the Night Kingdom. If those deeds aren't recorded, then it's going to be pretty tricky to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Yeah, no wonder the Pyro Archon said nobody's ever done it before. During the version 5.1 Archon quest, we'll have to figure out how to overcome that obstacle. We'll also get the chance to meet Sith Lali from the Masters of the Nightwind. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wyub, so she might be able to turn the tides in our favor. Yes! Of course, the Traveler's ancient name won't be the only <laughs> obstacle. Face. The threat of the abyss remains, and it seems like expressive. Auroran, a mysterious member of the Masters of the Nightwind, is working on a secret plan. Oh, you're already showing up. There's so much to look forward to. Travelers can also earn extra primo gems from Wait, this Arkham quest, lecturer. right? <laughs> you're exactly right. Huh. Just like I'll, in version 5.0, I'll talk about that travelers can the earn an break. extra 500 primo gems if they complete the Natlan Archon quest Act 3 and Act 4 during version 5.1. But that's not all. Extra rewards will also be available for exploring that land during version 5.1. Travelers can earn a total of 400 extra primo gems by completing related world quests and increasing that land exploration progress. Travelers who already reach the required amount of progress in version 5.0 can directly claim the rewards during the new version. But don't worry if you're more laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That means you will have all of version 5.1 and 5.2 to satisfy the conditions and claim the rewards. Yeah. Can we expect similar rewards to become available as the map expands in future updates? You bet. Limited time exploration rewards will be offered for all future Netlan areas. Yes. Each time a new region is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That way, travelers should have enough time to explore the new maps and claim those extra primo gems. Each version comes with a ton of activities. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain commissions or events. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. We should give the travelers an example. No problem. In version 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. Well, kind of space for They'll a work Did together they with Shilonen the, uh, to track wishes? down and capture phlogiston aphids. It's not as simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have okay, been corroded they, they by the abyss, which caused them to grow unnaturally large. Wow, is nothing safe from okay. abyssal corrosion? Natlin's really going through a tough time. Tell me about it. Luckily, that, the corrosion levels really, are still reversible. I just kinda, like, Start by unleashing attacks segment, with your characters, then use Shilonen's insect net to break their shields. Sure Once the it. surrounding shields are down, so I travelers know, like, can what purify the abyssal be. energy inside of them. Elsewhere in that land, travelers who venture into a specific underground cavern will discover a secret source automaton that was left behind by a lost civilization. The secret source constructor oh. awaits all challengers. We, if you manage to beat this new bosses. boss, then you can earn special materials. 
I bet Shilonen would love to get her hands on the parts of that automaton. Mm -hmm. Like, since Inosuma, we've been getting <laughs> okay. quite a few mechanical We introduced our bosses. new character and the new boss. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. Oh, there we go. In the first half of version 5.1, travelers can look forward to event Shilonen wishes for Shilonen and Chiori. And Chiori. Okay. A new five-star sword, Peak oh, Patrol so Song, will be featured on the weapon banner. And in the second sword. half of version 5.1, We'll have Dendro returning Bane. event wishes for Nahida and Hu Tao. Yes, Dendro and Bane new four-star weapons will also be added to the weapon banner during version 5.1. Okay, that keep an eye out if you're interested in them. The oh, I can't in wait. Two, I have a chance of but getting, it's about um, time for our first break. Weapon so I can See you soon, travelers. See you soon. Hu weapon, so I can give... Yeah, so... Yeah, since Nahida... And ow. Since Nahida and Tutau are in phase two, that means I have a, uh, if I do end up wishing on, uh, weapon banners, then I have a chance of, um, of either getting an opportunity to rework Nahida to kind of just make her stronger in general because of how I've split everything, or have a chance of, um, giving Hutao her, uh, her signature weapon. Or I might get extremely lucky and get, um, or get Xiao's weapon from the weapon banner. I honestly hope that's the case, because that'll mean, um, I would have to save as much for, uh, for, uh, Xiao's rerun, which will definitely be, uh, be a thing. Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone oh. can figure out where we're at. <laughs> Yep, it's Sumeru City. I guess Things are looking really festive. That's because we're Mayors. celebrating Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. I still Yay! remember how the Sub-Zero's festival kept repeating during the Archon Quest two years ago. Oh, yeah, Nahida horrifying. couldn't celebrate her birthday that's, because that's the Grand scary. Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Surastana. Right, and Nahida's character teaser was so sad. Especially during that third instance of when I woke up. I was riding in a flower carriage. The sudden change of music was so heart-wrenching. Oh, yeah, Definitely. I, I remember that the trailer. The travel really helped like out by exposing so the angry. academia, and Nahida was able to earn her people's like, love. But we all feel like she deserves a true yeah, birthday same, celebration, like, right? So yeah, absolutely. So, in the version 5.1 event, Chromatic so Ode of Candius and Roses, oh, travelers this. will get the chance to give Nahida the birthday celebration that she deserves. <laughs> all right, finally. Yeah, actually, I have a few screenshots that I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a sneak peek at this Subzerus festival? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, that's a lot of people. It looks like they're secretly discussing something. This year, the Academia is organizing a birthday celebration unlike any other. Think of it as a small way to make up for their past mistakes. Plus, the Traveler has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru to prepare a special surprise for Nikita. Oh, I can't wait to see her reaction. Of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability to keep it a secret. So don't give it away, Travelers. Yeah, Pipe The flower carriage is another important part of Subzerus Festival. This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature carriage to simulate the parade. That way, it can go off without a hitch. That's so nice of them. And the Traveler will serve as the Knight of Flowers during the real parade, escorting the carriage along the route. Wow, so the Traveler is like Nahida's protector. Yeah, it looks like the Aranara are also involved in the it's festival. The little if you children, want to learn more about back. this year's Subzerus festival, including the birthday surprise, then be sure to check out the event during version 5.1. It's time to make some memories sweeter than candied Ajilenak nuts. Travelers can also look forward to different types of gameplay during the event. Remember the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot? Travelers can take it for a spin during the event, Rocking Carriage. The goal is to control the direction of the carriage to avoid obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible. Collect blessings along the way and you'll be able to obtain a higher score. Nice. In the second event, in a reflection of reality and dreams, Travelers will enter unique dreamscapes, search for anomalies within the dreams, and fix them. Oh, so it's like a spot the difference game. That's one of my specialties. <laughs> In the third event, Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Archon. 
earn points by defeating as many enemies as possible within the time limit. You can even increase your performance level and earn buffs by satisfying special conditions during the challenge. Ah, uh, this should be a breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Looks I like someone's excited so for the Subzerus Festival. I hope travelers feel the same way. Hey, I'm sure they will. In addition to Nahida's birthday celebration, version 5.1 offers other exciting events. In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, cool. Each challenge comes with unique buffs. Use them wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible. You'll find tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. In Reminiscent Regimen Thrill, travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge with four random stages. Each challenge will feature different Reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. You can give your team an advantage by choosing a buff that works with the specific stage design. It's all about optimizing your teamwork. <laughs> Absolutely. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn thrilling stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. New Invisage okay, Stackles so challenges like that, will um, also be added in version 5.1. Travelers right. will now be able to obtain echoes for Zhongli and Keqing. Whoa, Zhongli's echo mm -hmm. is really cool. I won't be able to get that. echo is be able also to get that beautiful. One, she leaves a trail of flowers behind her. <laughs> Whoa, save some excitement for our other updates. I still During haven't version completed the one for one, A few <laughs> yeah, familiar way, faces I, I will also be added to Genius Invocation TCG. But Travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster really cards, and action really cards. Super, cool. Super strong, version so 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. There's even the Aphid Treasure Trace event that we introduced at the beginning of the program. That's not all. There's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. Wait, do you mean... That's right. Lieben will be back in version 5.1. Just like always, travelers can exchange their items for Primo Gems and that, level up materials. That presents me with a I question. even heard that Natlin's specific materials will be available yours. during his latest visit. Awesome. When, what are we that getting That should be all for the version mm -hmm. 5.1 events. That means it's about time for our second break. You got it. We'll be right back, travelers. So, a couple things. Uh, first one, which I kind of already said, what are we getting lost riches? <laughs> are, are, we're, we're of course not getting it in 5.1, but are we getting it in 5.2, 5.3? Is lost riches just not going to be a thing in that one? Uh, second, we're getting live in again. We're, we're getting live in. That's boy. Uh, which does means... Which does means... What? Which does mean we'll be able to learn a little bit more about Snezhnaya. Because the whole deal with Lyman is that he will always give us like a small little teaser about what's gonna happen in the next region. Like what kind of uh, problem that... Um, that region is going through. Of course, he won't like tell us straight up. I, I, I don't think he kind of like hide, like disguises it a bit. Welcome back, travelers. It's time to jump into the system optimizations. Oh yes. First Let's up, see what you guys got. a skip feature will be added to the Spiral Abyss. This change allows you to All skip right. floor nine in the new update if you obtain full stars on floor eleven of the previous Spiral Abyss. Obtaining full stars that. on floor twelve will allow you to skip both floor nine and floor ten. Hopefully, this change will create a smoother experience. That sounds so convenient. Yeah, I know, right? Just as a reminder, the Primo Gem rewards from the skipped floors will need to be claimed manually. But floor rewards such as Domain Reliquaries will be distributed automatically when you open the Spiral Abyss interface. In addition, you can now open multiple Domain Reliquaries at once. Nice! We don't have to keep opening them one by one. Yeah. Continuing with more optimizations, the filtering and sorting logic of the character artifact interface has been improved. The system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't Why have you to set them every single time. Reverie? You can Why also you sort that? by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those preferences will also be saved. That will make it a lot that easier to filter artifacts for each to character. Totally. The character ascension mechanics will also be optimized in version 5.1. 
You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. A feature will also be added to the crafting bench that allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goals. This will allow you to easily view and craft the number of materials that you need. Now, you don't have to calculate the required materials and quantities in advance. You can do all of that okay, at the crafting so bench. Helpful. Version 5.1 will also be adding other small optimizations. That's, that's, that's be sure to check out great. future announcements for like more information. Alright, travelers. Some of you might have already noticed, but Genshin Impact turns four years old tomorrow. Happy We've had an incredible journey so far, right? Oh, that means they'll start Let's uh, see where this the, path uh, has taken us. It's time to relive some amazing memories. Let's do it. No travel thing. stuff oh wait no never mind oh, we're gonna music um as much as i hate to do this i am kind of tempted to skip through this because i don't want to get smacked around with copyright and typically whenever there is um music stuff i end up skipping it anyway you know what it's fine that's fine We'll and if not, then I'll just cut this part out uh, when I transfer it to, to That's YouTube. What journey me. Can't see. That's really cool. The scene blurry, but we still must pursue the dream. The animations are so small. Put on a sturdy shell to face the Shining bright in the deep night Stand up to find many times and know what's wrong right The scars will finally To the romantic The honor is our problem Oh, I saw that cutscene Fun fact, we never got a uh, Dragon's Point event after that Strong tie to reach the other side. I hear about your last trails. Some words are heavy when some words are light. We are like two meteors that miss each other.
Cheers to four years of Genshin Impact. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> wow, it's already been four years. Where's the time gone? It really brings back so many memories when I see all those scenes. There's that fight against Storm Terror, the Battle of the Jade Chamber, Nahida saying goodbye to Greater Lord Ruka Devada, the Masquerade of the Guilty. I know, and I'm definitely going to have that song on repeat. That's exactly what I did with the Natland Symphony performance. It seems like this is a good place to announce that Natland's first OST album, Land of Play Ayatl, is about to be released. The album contains three discs featuring 78 original tracks composed for Genshin Impact. Yay! We can finally add Natland's regional soundtrack to our playlist! Yes. All right. Hmm. That looks like all the information we have to share. That means it's time for the special program to come to an end. Is there anything you want to say before we leave? Yeah, for sure. Well, I think there's so much cool content coming in this version. Okay, it's just... Yeah, they're just gonna... Yeah, for the rest of it. Um... Okay, first thing I want to talk about... Well, actually, let's just get this out of the way. War Conquest, of course, I'm doing on stream. That's... that's non-negotiable. Um... The fact we're already meeting Ororan and the fact he's Electro, that kind of quashes my original theory about how... the six tribes will kind of more or less influence what kind of visions the, um... everyone will have, because... Ororan is from the Masters of the Nightwind, yet is Electro, But the Masters of the Night, but Silali is also from the Masters of the Night. Went yet it is Cryo. So one of two possibilities in my head is the fact that my theory is incorrect and the tribes uh, bear no influence in terms of uh, vision holders, or Ororan is adopted. I don't really know which one, but maybe the more we hang around with them, the more we'll find out. Um, as I kind of already stated, I'm slowly getting a little tired of the mechanical losses, because we have so many. Yeah, we have Magu Kinki in, um, in Inazuma, the evil Dorito. And the um, giant robot dragon in Sumeru. The um, the dancing Max and Fontaine. Oh, and the uh, the flying donut. And now this guy, the secret source constructor. So I kind of. Like, well, I do kind of like that they're adding, like, more machinery-type stuff into, into Genshin. I kind of wish that they would... That they would kind of cool their jets a bit with the mechanical bosses. Um... Oh, yes, uh, wishing. Uh, just stop my speed, yeah. Um... Not wishing on phase one. I already have Chiori, and Silonen doesn't really interest me. Especially since I already have Kachina for exploration. So if I ever do get Silonen, I'll probably get her on the uh, the rerun. And with Nahida and Hotel, I'm not wishing for the characters themselves. But I might see about trying to get their weapons. The new four star weapons look really cool. We uh we already saw this in the uh the Archon quest with uh Kachina. So I'm wondering if that'll be good for her. Um what else? 
Oh yeah, there's them doing on stream. That's just not an argument. Uh, this one, I don't know. If I'll do on stream or not. I'll, I'll kind of think about it. Oh, I know this is the uh, the co-op one, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, this one will be in my own time. The envisaged decos look really cool. I might work on kaching, so I can do that. And depending on when Liven's stuff is, I may or may not do it on stream. I don't really know yet. We'll, we'll have to know the, the dates and such. The new optimizations for the Spiral Abyss. Um, it's really cool. But sadly I can't really make full use of them because I can't get past 410. My, my characters aren't <laughs> built enough to go beyond. Or 10. I think I cleared floor 11 like once, but never again. Yeah, the thing with the artifacts is really cool. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, th th this is another thing I wanted to talk about. I just thought it was really cool. This right here makes me curious about what it's going to be. Is it like a representation of one of the Pyro Archons helping us, or is this foreshadowing for a uh, Pyro Traveler? But, um. Not an extreme just yet. I just kinda need to. go into full screen form so I can, uh drag everything back into its place so we can play some Genshin for a little bit. To kind of fill out the time a little bit. Because I don't really like doing streams that are under an hour. Meh, streams that are under an hour. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, really quickly before I uh, turn everything back on. I'm proud of this. Uh, I kind of already did my day these. So the only thing that's really left to do is to finish up the uh, the event stuff. There we go. So yeah, let's do that. I think there are two parts of the event left, so that should be just enough to fill things out a little. Thunderous loops in the challenge of feet enemies in synergy with the character's rapid movements. Okay? So I can kind of just go crazy, I guess. So let's do you. Farina. Uh, the Traveler and Jiri. right oh we can't use um okay so we're kind of being forced to use 
well, I say forced. We kind of have to use the uh, the trial characters in the uh, in the first half. So Malani, Lynette, let's let's check in Kachina to, to help out a little, and then you bet it. Let's let's do a rainbow team. Thought I'd stop by before heading to work. Thank you. Thank you for swinging by. It's very nice of you. Uh, where's the trailer? Um, but yeah, thank you for, for stopping by before you had to, uh, before you had to work. That's really nice of you. Okay, um, yeah, we'll just fool around with the, uh, with the events, and I think we'll call it there. Look at the fact that they're just being yeeted, deleted. <laughs> So yeah, let's let's continue and then see what we uh, what we can do. Oh, I just realized that I had that I did that entire thing muted. Oops. Time to shine. challenge. Yeah, because I need to rework the uh, the team. Just a little. Oh, okay. Uh, deep domain. for the second half and then try again. Because I, I want to get at least silver. So 
Do the let you. I almost left it just completely leave it there. Um you and you. I think that should be fine. If I can't get the uh, needed amount of points here, then I'll just... Coming, Sato. Sue you. Show me with pay. The tides check it. the points. <laughs> Fit check. <laughs> okay, hold on. There we go. There's the fit. It's a redeem where I have to just switch off of my ring. What's that? I said that was just a, someone just redeemed a fit check, which just means I have trouble to have to come back.
still. The depth better. Silence. Justice is blindsided. Be sanctified. stream thank you go to luck at work hopefully uh people won't give you a super hard time thank you for the hydrate okay so these two aren't helping Thanks to stay hydrated, I will try. Um, let's do Red Shogun. Challenge, but yeah, using Chiori and Red and Shogun should hopefully help with the uh, Hydro enemies. Oversight on my part. I'll have to figure out uh, what the best team is for the second half. I have trouble figuring something out. Uh, there's something 
that's gonna do. Basically, like fully refreshed. Just fuck buddy. Right, that should be fine. I'm sure I'll get a, a lot more primogems to use once we hit uh, 5.1. But yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and end it. And that's fine. Okay. But yeah, this will just about uh, do it until tonight. What have we got tonight? Oh, tonight we're playing some Minecraft. Alright, should be a uh, should be a nice and fun stream. enjoyed the stream and you're on the YouTube side of things, then please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, stay awesome. And if you're one of the lovely people who decided to take time out of your day, afternoon, or evening to come watch this stream live as it is happening, or you're here for the two weeks that it's on Twitch before I transfer it over, then please be sure to drop a follow and maybe even a subscription if you haven't done so already. Small reminder that those with Twitch Prime are able to get a free one month subscription to a streamer of their choosing. So if you haven't used that with someone else, I encourage you to use that here, and as always, long live the rebellion.